Hi, and thanks for watching my video today. Today we're going to be reviewing a Mamba made by Aquabot. I purchased this for about $60 on Amazon.com, and I'm hoping that it will clean my pool a little bit better. So this is a suction side cleaner, and it includes 32 feet of hose, a counterweight, a flow regulator, and it says that it has an easy access clean out in the handle. As you can see in my pool, there's a lot of crap that gets into the pool and gets in the bottom of it. So some leaves, some little tiny pieces of organic matter, and this is a DE filter that's on this pool, and there's a little bit of DE dust that's hard to see that's in the bottom. So let's go ahead and open the box. We'll go ahead and get the packaging out with a knife. And um, so once that's clear, we can go ahead and open the box. Um, and uh, it's a little bit of a surprise the way this thing is packed in here. So the instructions look like they were written by the folks who do IKEA's instructions. And I had to stare at them several times to figure out how to put this thing together. Uh, I finally figured out that uh, what I needed to do was was put the blue thing on and one side of it says this side up and then it just kind of snaps into this ring. So once you have that on there then the white piece goes on and uh, there's a little piece that's clipped off of one side of that blue ring. So what you do is just kind of get this thing started and then spin it as you as you work your way around. And it'll just kind of snap on in place. Now, I think they've either changed how they assemble these at the factory or mine has been out of the box once before. Uh, it didn't look like the package had been opened, but some of the assembly steps were already done. So, um, you know, and you may notice there's a little bit of a missync. Uh, I had an audio malfunction when I recorded this video, so I'm actually voicing over it. So I went back to the instructions, and then I concluded that that was actually all there was to it for putting this thing together. Um, there isn't much to it. And uh, then I had to put the hose together, and the hose is a little bit difficult, but if you wiggle it as you put it together, it'll, it'll kind of slide together. And if you twist and wiggle when you're trying to take it apart, it, it comes apart just fine. Um, I initially put all of the hose together, and then I found that I didn't need all of the hose, and that I'm actually better off to um, use all but about three of the segments. And I just kind of feed it into the pool as I go, and that helped fill it with water. Um, you know, as a side note, if you are, have um, any kind of hand or di wrist difficulties, you may find this to be extremely difficult. Um, I don't really know why they pack the hose this way, other than maybe making it where you can trim it. But the instructions didn't say anything about the hose length. Now, the blue piece that you see by my left hand is actually where the clean-out is. It's actually by my left knee. There's a, there's a clean-out that's there. So I had to figure out which end of the hose goes to the uh, mamba. And it took me a few minutes to figure it out, which is... A little bit on the embarrassing side, but these instructions really suck. They they were trying real hard to keep this day an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. So I went ahead and turned the hose around. And it was very easy to plug in. There is a swivel at the top, which is quite nice. And um, you'll see that there's a valve laying by my left knee, an inlet uh, adapter, and then a float. And I forgot to put the float on, and so I had to go back and put that on later. So first things first, you need to get all the water out of the hose. I did this by using one of my outlet jets and just filling the hose with water. And it just turned out that as I did this, it kind of drug the thing into the water and the, the air um, went out of it. So it wasn't really a big deal. Once I had all the water out of it, I went ahead and connected it to the 
uh, vacuum port on the side of my pool. So here I'm actually moving the hose over to the vacuum port that you really can't see in the video, but it's there. And there was a little bit of air that got pulled into the pump, but it did start to work right away. And it makes a small clicking noise as it operates. It's, re it's really not that bad. I, I realized I needed to put the valve in there. I'm still not really sure what that valve does. Um, but I went ahead and put the valve in anyway because it was included in the package and it's probably important. And I just let it kind of click its way around my pool. So I went off to get the air out of my filter because I, I really don't like air inside the filter. And in the meanwhile, the mamba just kind of clicked its way around my pool. Admittedly, this thing is not a whole lot to look at because it, it moves kind of slow. Um, the other thing, the way my pool is set up, I have one pump, and so I have an inlet that is... Uh, there's a valve on the skimmer and on the main drain and so what I've done is I've adjusted this so that the pool uh, skimmer continues to operate and then I've basically turned off the main drain and the mamba just kind of runs around and acts like a main drain and picks up all the crap as it goes. I did need to take three of the hose segments out because it kept getting stuck in the corner uh, right where it's at right now. It just, it, it liked to go down there and it seemed to be stuck once it would get down there. So in a moment here I'll go over there and I'll, I'll move that hose and send it, send it up towards the shallow end of the pool. It's, it's in the deep end right this moment. I wasn't real impressed with its ability to climb walls. I, um, you know, this was essentially a $60 solution to trying to clean the pool. Um, and I, I think in the end what we're going to end up having to do is modify the pool to have a pressure side cleaner. But in the short term, this was an option that beats uh, the fourth kind of pool cleaner, which is the one that's on a stick that you have to spend two hours working.